What up, 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 world? It's your boy, Amp Dog, with another episode of Politicking. Want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what's the deal? And make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button. Um, today, we got a story coming out of Polk County, Florida. Um, <clears throat> authorities in Florida say an electrician from uh, Lehigh Valley went on a killing spree attacking his co-workers and their families. Um, this guy in the photo right here, uh, Sean Runyon, who was from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, killed two people and critically injured a third person who, who they don't expect is going to survive. <clears throat> he killed him with a, um, knife and a baseball bat. They said it happened at a home that they were sharing for, um, so, you know, like <clears throat> certain companies, you know, they contract out of state and go different places. So he was working for an electrician company that based out of Pennsylvania, went to Florida. So a lot of times what these guys get is um, <clears throat> they either get, you know, some type of payment on um, hotels, Airbnbs, or they might just, you know, actually rent out, depending on how long the work is, they might rent out an actual home and, you know, probably five six bedrooms and then you know workers will go up there and that's where they'll stay after they get off work you know what i'm saying <clears throat> so this is one of them situations they were at a temporary um home uh they say Ryan got in an argument with the supervisor on friday and he punched him and then he started running away and if you look at this picture i mean not to be funny but if you look at this picture it is look it's two type of things and i don't like judging people off they look but you got to sometimes but it's two type of looks that i get from this guy I get one that's hey stay away from this motherfucker he crazy or two he's a nice guy you know he looks like a nice guy but that smirk it looks like he he has something um probably some type of insecurity about something or a secret or he, he might have a um might have a lifestyle choice that isn't the you know most popular amongst his peers you know to where he might become the butt of jokes and um that's just my vibe i don't know i don't know this man he's, he's crazy though he killed his co-workers and try to kill everybody else with a knife in the back um <clears throat> so his boss in pennsylvania thought he was on his way back to the area so i guess he thought after he took off running and beating up on a supervisor he was gonna head back to pennsylvania I'm guessing um, the boss was surprised to to find out that he was not only here, but he was murdering his co-workers this morning. Uh, Sheriff Grady Judd said, hey, you know, what's crazy. Um, I think Grady Judd is, is that same sheriff that be doing all the rap videos and stuff. Um, but then they do show Ryan had a criminal history, including an arrest in May dealing with strangulation. So there again, that's that first look i tell y'all like that looks like hey stay away from this guy you know so he was he was arrested in may for dealing with strangulation in uh, northampton county so that to me shows enough of um enough to where i can go back to what i always say with these points that i try to make which is you know um when you go to work it's not necessarily that you have to go make friends um a lot of times, depending on the type of work you do, you're around a, a bunch of other grown people that got their own real life issues and families and things like that. So um, joking around may be cool with some. That's how they get through their day. But then to some, um, it it so a lot of times with people that that deal with like deep depression, you know, them going to work is a is a release in the outlet. Or, or, or a break from what they deal with outside of that eight, 12 hour shift, you know? So if you end up, you know, kind of, I guess, overflowing into that work hour, them work shifts where that's his only outlet to release and get away from being depressed when he's at home, you know? So when you get to bringing that depression on into the workplace, that's where you have guys like this that just butt out and just, spaz out and go crazy and and the guy that was fucking his wife's sister like hey i don't know what happened to this guy you know um that was a situation that happened in and um and out here in california you know a firefighter went 
went on rampage and killed a couple of co-workers or attempted to kill a couple of co-workers killed one but i believe the one he killed was was smashing his wife allegedly um but yeah so it's, it's things like that to where i always say um if anything i'm gonna just be a pleasure to be with be around you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna um i'm gonna make sure that you get help even if i feel like why the fuck they hired a stupid motherfucker keep coming over here every five minutes asking me how to do their job i'm gonna help you because i don't want to be the person that you when you go snap and then you come in the workplace trying to spagato everybody i want you to look at me and be like get your ass out of here you know what i'm saying so maybe that's what people need to start doing is is you can you can sense people who um who can't take certain treatment or, or certain things um the same you know so i would say um just 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 watch J just watch people's actions and how they move and um you'll get a lot of answers that you need to know um how do you deal with that person from your standpoint or you know if it's even worth it you know um somebody like him just the way he look he's 39 years old um and this mugshot right here he doesn't seem too remorseful so and 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 that look to me means that he feel like wh whatever happened they deserved it so that's why i say i don't want to speculate on what happen or whatever but um he felt the need to come back and attack these people early in the morning while they slept you know beating them with bats and stabbing them to death you know and and, and the sad thing is it is they also had family you know so it's, it's one of them things you could actually bring your family come stay at this nice six bedroom house in the suburbs while you you know fix electricity uh at a at a public uh grocery store um yeah man he escaped unharmed with his wife and seven-year-old daughter you know what i'm saying uh ryan chased the fourth victim into the street and struck him with a bat now this is like a horror film this seems like a like crazy and then this is another thing to show how crazy this dude his mental capacity um ryan had fled the scene leaving a trail of blood but the search did not find him until a call to authorities from a family in Lake Wells who said Ryan had showed up to their front to their home covered in blood claiming he had been raped. They instructed him to go to a hospital, which he did, and that's where deputies arrested him, although he is not he was not injured. He has confessed to our detectives, judge said the investigation is underway. So if he confessed, I don't know what in investigation um needs to be done. Just put him where he needs to be. Um, now I will say, now if one of you men in that house, and I mean I don't want to speculate off that that little smirk he got, but yeah, he seemed a little happy. I was gonna say that in the beginning, but I didn't want to. I don't want to pass judgment. I have no problem with LGBTQF, MNOP, uh, none of that. You know, I just feel like if one of you guys um, had a wild drunken night and. You and this guy, Mr. Ryan, had a run in and Ryan, Ryan up in your ass or something. Um, you should have took a lot more responsibility because if if you end up y'all end up doing whatever and then this man catches feelings because clearly he probably he probably wanted to go public with everything. You know what I'm saying? And if you were some type of you know, uh, attacking him, abusing him because of his his choice and lifestyles, and then here you go feeling like because you could jump in and jump back out that technically that don't make you um, a part of that community, which um, it happens a lot of. Um, then I would say you deserve. Uh, well, I don't know if you're the one that's dead or not, but if you're living and you and this was something that transpired where he was sexually assaulted. Um, whether it was consensual or non-consensual, um, then, yeah, you should be charged with what's going on, too. Um, you know, because, in, in, in other words, um, this this thing spewed out into other innocent people losing their lives just due to the fact that he had some type of relationship, maybe. I don't know. This is all allegedly now. He, this is what they said. His crazy ass walked up to the door and said he'd been raped. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he's on the seventy-five thousand dollar bill. Um, 
He was previously charged with theft by unlawful taking, theft of lost property, receiving stolen property, DUI, and careless driving. So it seemed like um, unlawful taking, theft of lost property, it seemed like when when he... Uh, shit, I'm going to have to say it. So it seems like to me he's one of them bitter bitches in a relationship when it ends. So everything he bought you, he wanted back. You know what I'm saying? That might be the case. These might be relationships he was in when he theft of lost property. Oh, did you take my car keys? I ain't got your car keys. Why would I want to take your car keys, bitch? And the whole time he got the car keys, you know, uh, receiving stolen property, things like that. Um, so it seemed like this guy got a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of criminal um, aspects going on in his life um, that he partakes in. And um, he seems a little toxic. So, um, just like uh, most most people that, you know, do things like this, you know, it's a special place for people like him. And, um, yeah, I know he got to do his, they got to do they, you know, they do diligence, give him a, 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 a right to a fair trial and all that. But when you get a person that says, I confess to doing it, save us our tax dollars. I think I could speak for everybody that say, just go ahead and, you know, we ain't tripping. Um, but anyway, y'all like, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, big amp dog said, what's the deal? Tell me what y'all think. Y'all think this dude was an innocent victim that just snapped, had a breaking point? Or do you think, um, they just messed with the wrong one? I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace.